So we've started the chipping out. We've been right throughout the property. Well, here's just an example of bits we're finding. Uh, this cementitious plaster on here is just holding in the moisture. We've got salt and things trying to leach through, but this is what we're finding. It's a case of the angle beads just rotting. So we've got an old fireplace here that's been in situ. It's been blocked up over the years so we've got modern brick with cement. Got really hard mortars here. Here's a sample of what we've been coming up against really. We've got a layer, a backing coat of really hard cement and then there's like a bonding coat on top then a little gypsum layer and then an oil based paint. And when we've been chipping that off, not only has it been damping behind on these walls, um, it's also taken the face off the sandstone because this uh, type of sandstone is quite soft in this valley. Um, this is what it tends to do because the, the cement is so much harder than the, than the masonry it's built with and it's actually pulled off the lime, the original lime in there as well. So there's been a good couple of tons of this stuff come off and uh, it did have a, a smell behind the wall when we did that but we're finding in each room after a couple of days the walls have dried out and uh, that smells disappearing as well which is all good news and it's proving what this stuff does. So all these things have led to um, retaining the moisture behind the wall and also lead to hard work trying to chip it off we get in there though and these are just the last bits left to do. So we're here in what's eventually going to be a bedroom. Uh, we've stripped off the walls. Again we've got an old fireplace we found there originally. This window looks like an add-on at a later date but still built with lime. Um, we're working our way through. Again hard cement and we've also stripped out the ceilings. Um, there was no insulation in behind there. It was just literally 60s plasterboard. Uh, we've denailed these beams and then that takes it back so we've got a nice clean sheet to start running services through like electrics, plumbing and then also a void here where we can get insulation in for, to stop sound travelling and also to keep the heat in the rooms.